Okay. So what we're doing here is I'm working on the um, Warlark 80. And what I did here is I changed out the camera. And I changed out the camera to the little um, $8 camera from Banggood that uh, is in the link below. And what happened is, is once I changed this camera out, the OSD is no longer aligned properly on the screen on my uh, my head plays so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna show you how to reset and how to redo the um, the OSD so that you can um, add features or take away features and I'm also going to make adjustments so I can see my voltage again because my voltage is actually missing off the bottom of the screen it's it's too low with this new camera so that's what I'm doing here and what we have to do here is get a small screwdriver and then just lightly pry this um, VTX OSD off so that's what we're doing here this is the OSD here on the bottom and then these pins here you can hook up to um, you can hook up to here to your your little uh, FTDI it has to be 5 volts and I'll show you how to do that okay here it is here we hooked up the 5 volt FTDI to the underside pins of the um, VTX OSD and at, I have a description in the description below and in the video I'll actually um, I'll show the diagram on how to hook this up if you ever want to do that basically this is the 5 volt here on this side I'm using these small connectors because they fit on these pins nicely and then on this side here you have the ground you have the um, RX and the TX so you'll need to do that in order to to um, do the configuration on the OSD and I'll show that next okay now we have the OSD here we're gonna plug it into the computer and make sure that we get the proper lights flashing up here so here we are with that and as you can see the light here is flickering so it's actually speaking to the uh, OSD right now okay and then on the computer we're going to get this thing lined up here okay on the computer uh, I don't know if you can see it here it's kind of bright excuse the camera here I actually have the um, diagram here yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not this isn't a very good camera um, so let's just uh, skip this here and then we'll go down to so in order for us to um, do the OSD on this, there's a couple things we have to do here. Once it's plugged in, you have to go to your device manager. Okay. I don't know why this is being so lame. Um, and then you'll go down to ports com and LPT and you'll have your USB USB serial port and I have mine set to COM5 you want to go to you want to double click on that go to port settings make sure that it's at 115 200 for the bits per second uh, data bits should be 8 parity should be none stop bits should be 1 and flow control should be none and hit OK and then you want to go to um, Arduino 
You want to open up the Arduino. Okay. And then from Arduino, you want to go to Tools. We want to select our board, and on the board, you want to select Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. On Processor, you want to click the first option, which is the 128, uh, or I'm sorry, the 328, 5 volt and 16 megahertz. And on port, you want COM5. Okay. Once you do that, then you can hit um, the upload. And down here, if you don't have any reds, if it's just white, it might you might have a red like warning you about the amount of memory left or something like that. That's perfectly fine. Okay. So then we want to close that out, and we want to open up uh, our MWOSD. Um, this is 1.6, so revision 1.6. Okay. And we want to hit on COM5 to start it up. Let's see if I can get this a little closer here. There we go. That's better. Okay, we want to make sure the baud rate is selected to 115 200. Okay. And as you can see it started up. Now, the stock for some reason um and this happens a lot with uh you know, anytime you're dealing with these OSDs, for some reason from the factory it was selected for four cell batteries and the voltage alarm was set at like 12 volts or something like that. Um obviously this um Warlock 80 is not 14 volts it's only um, one cell so you know so the voltage alarm should be set to 3.5 and that's right here okay plus all this stuff over here this was completely um, colluded with pretty much every option available on and I you don't need all of that so I took all that stuff off and um, so I have display timer on so I have the display timer on. I have, um, I don't need the sidebars. I don't need the scrolling. Um, if you want to keep the horizontal line, if you want to keep that, that's up to you with the little dot. Um, I took it off. So the only thing I really have on is display flight modes, a display timer, and, a, and of course display voltage. And then use FC main voltage right here. Okay, everything else is off. And we're going to write this here. So it's it's written now. And then over here, you can select your text right with this option here. You can select the different, um, like right now it's selected on timer, and you can move it up, or you can move it down. It's whatever you want to do. Um, same thing with all your other options that you have on. So um, I like actually where it's set right now and it's gonna look a little different when you plug it in um, so you have to kind of experimental you know experiment around where you want to set these things like right now it would look like it's gonna be kind of in the middle of the screen but in actuality it's not um, it's on the very bottom on my head plays um, so that's you know you might have to plug it back in and then pry it back off of the uh, FC and then come back in here and move it up, down, sideways, whatever you want to do there. So, so that's pretty much about it. Um, I haven't displayed any of the MAH. I don't, I don't know if it's got a current sensor. So I didn't even bother with that. Um, let's see here. You can put the horizontal bar back on if you want to. I might as well leave that on. I, I kind of, it doesn't bother me too much. So I'm going to leave that on. And then, once again, right. And now we're done. I'm going to close the communication. The close COM port. And we're done with that. So that's how you set the OSD on the um, Warlock, Warlock 80. Kind of a funny name, Warlock. Warlark. Like a warring bird, I guess. So that's it. That's how it's done. So you can put all the kind of options you want to up here. All right.